Okay, so here's an example of how you might do this experiment. You'll see that I have the IO lab over here, and I've attached a string over to the box. And so the string runs from the paper clip to the eye bolt over there. So I'm going to start by just showing you how long my string is. The length of the string is about, let me see, so right now this thing is on the ground and um, this IO lab is maybe a foot or so away from the edge of the table. Okay, and so right now this, the string is uh, not tight in any way. It's just sitting there and this guy's on the floor. Okay, so let me start up the, uh, the system. So I'm going to select the uh, wheel. That's going to measure acceleration and position of velocity. And I'm going to measure the force probe. And I'm just going to start here. And I'm going to zero the force sensor so that it starts out being zero when there's no tension in the string. Now I'm just going to pull back on this guy. About to there. And I'm just going to hold it tight for a second. And then I'm just going to release it. And then I stopped the IR lab with my hand. Let me stop acquiring data. So the data looks something like this. And we might smooth it a little bit. It doesn't look really bad anyway, it, but it doesn't hurt. Okay, so let's zoom in on the data where the action was, was over here. So I'm just going to pick that part. And <coughs> so that's what the, and we can hide the position and we can hide the velocity. So what you're seeing here is the acceleration as measured by the wheel. And up here, you're seeing the force. Uh, and so let's uh, zoom in a little bit on vertically so that we can see what's going on. All right. So when we select the histogram icon in each of these so we can do analysis. So right about here, this is when the acceleration started right here. So that is where um, I, my hand let go of it. Before that, you can compare the tension before I let go and after I let go. This is while I was accelerating. You can see the acceleration down here. And then uh, the weight hit the floor and it was coasting for a little while. You see the force is back at zero. And then eventually it hit my hand and you see uh, a big force when my hand was in the way. And so you can see the same thing here. You can see the acceleration when it was accelerating. And then it was slowing down a little bit. You have the opposite acceleration when it says coasting. And then it has a big acceleration when it hits my hand. So you should be able to get data that looks something like this yourself. Uh, what I did, just because my desk is sort of crappy, is I put a little piece of, of scotch tape just on the edge of the desk right here for the string to go over, just to make it slip a little bit better. You, may don't, you probably don't have to do that, but uh, I just wanted to do it. All right, good luck.